I'm weatherbug meteorologist Miranda Hilgers back here with your extreme and severe weather outlook. We're tracking torrential rainfall here across portions of the southeast with street flooding and of serious amounts of moisture coming out of the atmosphere. This was the scene yesterday at Santa Fe High School just outside the Jacksonville, Florida area. Noticing those waves of showers rolling through and the clouds have been thick for the past few days. We're expecting them to continue on in the same fashion. Jacksonville, Florida seeing some land flooding as well, some backyards and some streets underwater here at times and of course the satellite and radar picture shows why we do still have that counterclockwise circulation that is indicative of a cutoff low pressure system and what that means is it's not trailing around with the jet stream so it's just sitting and spinning all by its lonesome and gradually it'll start to be pushed down towards the south and east but still a lot of rainfall back that direction the jet stream actually has it dipped down and around this and we have what's called an omega block with high pressure into New England so we've had beautiful weather across New York back up into Maine and out into portions of Vermont and New Hampshire. But uh, as this block sits in place, the low pressure center cannot move. And so it sits and spins and douses the southeast with rainfall. Meanwhile, we've got more accumulations on the way through Monday and Tuesday. Another two and a half inches likely for Louisville. Back down towards Chattanooga, Tennessee, we're looking at some heavier rainfall totals and even into Atlanta as well. They actually have flood concerns across the region. Flood watches here in the dark shaded regions. Flood warnings down here in some of the lighter greens. So it is a lot of rain falling very quickly and you know where we could use that rain back down into the southwest Camarillo California where the Springs fire is burning this was the scene yesterday of the plume of smoke headed up into the atmosphere containment has just been upgraded to 60 percent after burning 28,000 acres which is equivalent to about 44 square miles we've had damage to numerous homes and businesses but we expect the containment date to be around May 6 thanks to a plume of moisture coming in from the Pacific showers are in the forecast for LA later today